Hello, welcome to episode 8 of Terraria 1.3. Today's episode is a building episode. Now, what I want to do today is expand on Daniel's house. With all kinds of things that I can do with wood now. Now that I have a sawmill. Fireplace, goblin battle standard. All kinds of furniture, but you would need other things besides wood things that I don't have. Oh, and I also got some platinum last time too. I could make some tools. That's, I don't want a bookcase. I need books. I don't have books. Um, dresser? I can make a dresser. Bed? Five? Wait a minute. I need... Ooh, what do I need for sink? Water bucket. Okay. Uh, loom. That's what I wanted. Twelve wood at a sawmill. I can do that. Loom is important because... Plop. Because I can craft the items I want for my spellcaster build. Like wizard robes and things. Probably just the robes. Alright, Daniel, I've got silk now, what can I do with it? Make silky couches. Silky beds. Silk rope? Oh, that's new. I would make some just, just to try it out, but I don't have much right now, so I want to save it. Bed, sofa, bed, bed, sofa, bed, sofa. Pumpkins. Cactus, sofa. Uh, no, thank you. Obsidian... Outlaw? Obsidian pants? What is this made of? Obsidian. Okay. I want caster stuff. Robe. I need 20 for that. I don't have 20. Well, I don't have enough to make really anything. But I want to make something, so I guess I'm going to try out silk rope. Uh, let's see, one makes 30 rope. Alright, let's just see how it looks. I imagine it functions the same way as rope or web rope. Alright, let's try it out. Yeah, it looks just like rope, but it's purple. Let me try this. Oh, you know what this would look good with? Like some kind of big fancy curtain. Like there's a paint NPC in the game. You could paint blocks and things, so you might turn this into a gold silk rope. And put in some fancy curtains or something. Whoops. Okay, I'll put that away with the rest of my junk. Anyways, what I wanted to do today was expand on Daniel's house. Since I'm going to be doing all my crafting and storing here, uh, I'm going to put this... Well, the web goes in here. And I'm gonna need more space. Yes. Not sure what I'm gonna do with silk rope in the future. Uh, for decorating, really. Anyways, since this is place is gonna be for crafting and storage, I'm gonna build... build onto it with that in mind. Let me think. I'm going to have middle place for Daniel. One side, I guess, for crafting, and the other side for storage. Give me a worm. Come on. Wow, who, who would have thought a worm would be so hard to catch? Can you move, please? Okay, sneaky little worm. You can't get him when you're stuck on a slope. Well, let me just build out some blocky things, get an idea first. 
Oh yeah, and this extra house, I don't want to build this one left any, so this is as far left as it's gonna be. Out of the way. Ow. And I believe I want... I think I'll go with seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spaces between this house and the next. That means I won't be able to have any trees. Rest in peace, trees. Die. <laughs> it's funny, he's using the target dummy too. Okay, um... Wondering if I want to actually jump into it from here. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. I also want to have it across. I'll do this for now and change the shape if I need to later. So it goes this far. Maximum. Let me just get up here. Uh, let me put this here instead. Just tell myself it's temporary. So this will be for crafting. The edge of it is going to be four blocks, two, three, four, and then the floor. But it's going to go up because of the terrain. You know what, I'd rather enter the whole building from the center. So I probably will have stairs, trapdoor, or something. So I'll jump up here and I'll be up top as baby slime is demonstrating. Go across and access the crafting from there. So I'll get out through here. One, two, three. Three. Door here. Alright, this is working out quite nice. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, where does the next one go? One, two, three. Three, four, five. Which is the standard shape for the house that I make. But I, I think I want it taller though. Yeah. There are a lot of crafting items in the game. Crafting stations, loom, sawmill, furnace, anvil, table, workbench, chair, bottle, die zombie. Spiked Shackle. Is this better than what I have? One defense, two damage. Uh, one defense. Yeah, I'll put this on since I got an upgrade in materials recently. And so, I'll make some armor with that. And that will be my armor upgrade. Okay, how high do I want this? I guess it depends how much stuff I want in here. Hey, watch it, Daniel. You want to kill the zombie, not get killed by the zombie. I might actually have to reshape his house. So his whole room is going to be a little square on this side, and I think I'll have the roof slant upwards. Hmm. Again, I want a bedroom and things for Daniel, too. What a big zombie. Brisk shackle. No, I don't think I'll be using that. So, I want Daniel's face to be a little wider, because I want him to have a bed and things. Let me see. How wide do I want it? How wide do I want the crafting area? I think two or three levels will work. Oh, thanks, baby slime. I wanted that worm. Jerk. So, two or three levels. But I don't know how high it should be. Now, let me count it out first. Anvil. Furnace is three. Loom. Sawmill. Uh, 
I think 20 is a good number. Not sure exactly how many I'll need. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is all for crafting. So this will be the door. And I guess the rest will be Daniel's living area. And you know what? I think I'll have him give him an uh, give him an upstairs too. All right. Well, just let me work on this a bit. I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, this is what I have so far. I started with the crafting building, crafting section of Daniel's building. Oh my god. Nighttime just fell zombies are not wasting any time. I have three levels. One, two, three, four, hopefully all the crafting things I'll need. I've got the workbench and anvil, as well as furnace and sawmill in the center because I think I'll be using these the most. And on the outer edges I have a chair with a table and uh, vases and a bottle for potions and a loom on that side. The rest is for anything else I might find. And I made the roof double thick because when you place walls and shape the ceiling to be a diagonal piece, it actually sews through. Let me see if I can do it here. Well, it works better on the outside. Okay, so you got a roof, and you place, you know, you got a diagonal roof. I see you, I. You want to put walls in behind, but it shows on the outside. There you go, you can see better with some light. So that's why I made it two blocks thick. You can have the walls you want, and you can still have the roof you want and it not stand out like something's kind of wrong. Okay, let me remove this and tell you what's next. I got these platforms. I um, think I might redo these, but for now this is how I'm going to get up into the crafting area. Daniel's place, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to remove all these chests from his house later on once I build the storage section. Now what I've got is I've installed some windows. I hope he likes them. I think I might do up a kitchen on this side of the stairs. He's got a second level to his house. Also a double thick roof. Some eyeball curtains along next to this window where I think I'll put a bed. Oh look at that. I missed a spot. There we go. And this will be the bathroom. I got a sink put in already. This green slime banner, I think it looked nice as a shower curtain. So I put that there and I'll have a tub here. And I think I'll have a toilet there as well. And I think that's it for the bathroom. Now, have I done anything else? Double take roof, bathroom. This will be kitchen, I guess, or common area. And this is the separating door for his home and crafting. I might give him an extra room to the left of this one. Maybe a entryway or a porch or a front door or something. I have to rethink that. Because zombies are getting in. Oh, he's back. And he's scared of me. Is he? No, he's not. Strange man. I think that's it, really. I might have another room here. Like, build out and up. But I don't have... I pretty much ran out of wood. So I'll have to chop down more trees as I dig tunnels and stuff like that. I might have the storage area shaped the same as crafting, but maybe, depending on how I feel, I might do something different. Anyways, this has been another episode of Terraria, the building episode. 
Hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps me figure out what people want to see so I can do more. And if you want to see more of my content, feel free to subscribe and check out my channel as well. Anyways, till next time. Be swell, stay well, and farewell.